Hi everyone, welcome to the Cincinnati Nature Center. It's springtime here, so if you visit us anytime soon, you'll notice that our rolling hills are covered with a green-leaved spring ephemeral dotted with bright yellow cherry flowers. The look can be deceiving. This is actually an invasive and highly aggressive plant here called Lesser Celandine or Fig Buttercup. Lesser Celandine is quite hardy and good at shading out the growth of ecologically beneficial native wildflowers, such as wild ginger, bloodroot, Virginia bluebells, and trout lilies. Due in part to its thick rubbery leaves, Lesser Celandine is very cold and snow resistant. This allows it to bloom in dense patches before native flowers even have a chance to sprout, outcompeting them and taking over quickly. Lesser Celandine first appears in the spring as a rosette of dark green shiny leaves that are slightly heart-shaped. Around March and April, it blooms with a yellow flower with very highly glossy petals that are rounded at about eight per stem. Lesser Celandine is native to Europe, North Africa, and parts of Asia, and was introduced here as an ornamental species. At one point, there were even multiple colors to please gardeners and landscapers alike. Unfortunately, as happens all too often, Lesser Celandine escaped cultivation and invaded our natural areas. Moving quickly, under the leaves and just above the soil are these things that look like teeny tiny potatoes. These bulblets, or corms, can easily get stuck on boots or animal hooves, which transport them to new places. Lesser Celandine is also spread easily through soil erosion and moving water. It thrives in wet areas, so combined with its easily transportable corm, it causes quick spreading throughout watershed areas. If you see Lesser Celandine in your outdoor space at home, you'll want to remove it before it spreads. For small patches, dig up the entire topsoil layer where the plant is. Make sure to look out for and collect all the corms. Put the plant in a sealed bag in the garbage. Don't throw it in your brush pile or compost as the corms can spread and re-sprout easily. For larger areas, you can smother or solarize the patch by laying down a tight-fitting tarp for several months during the growing season, February through August. Remove it once during this time for a week or two to allow regrowth and then solarize it again. You can also spray the leaves with a 3% glyphosate solution. This may take a couple spot treatments. If you choose this method, make sure to take appropriate caution and read all chemical labels before applying the solution. We hope you'll take these steps as we do here at the Cincinnati Nature Center to help protect our forests and native wildflowers. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.